Hey boys and girls, we're back here at Valmont Bike Park and I've got a jump I've been trying to clear for about four or five months and uh, I case it every time I try and it's this guy right here in front of us arrow's got to point at the landing and the thing is it's really not a hard jump um, if the track was in a straight line it, it'd probably be the easiest jump in the whole park but you know the, the lead up into it is what's tricky so let's go through a little, uh, little breakdown of what's going on it all starts with a drop, which you know, isn't that hard, and followed by a jump, which isn't that hard. But uh, it's got kind of a hip to it, so it's kind of tricky. And there's that first jump I'm talking about. And it's going to lead into this roller. If you, if you hit on the right-hand side, it kind of acts as a jump, but uh, if you see it kind of slopes down. And on the left is where I really try to aim for it, because you can kind of just roll through it and try and carry some, some speed. It goes into a turn, which really isn't a big turn. It's kind of a sharp turn right there. And uh, there's the jump and uh, there's the landing right there. So let's take a look at actually rolling through it all and see how it goes. Come on! Okay, so here's a run from just two days later. Uh, this time around, I'm really going to try and preloading and boosting that last jump. Um, ideally, if I could just you know burn through that turn a little faster, I think I'd have enough speed to just clear it. But I'm bad at turns, and I have the fear of washing out. So let's see how it goes. Ah, so close! So close! Well, you heard the man, folks. So close. Well, let's compare those two runs and see if we can see if there's anything else I did besides just boosting it. So here's the first run, and I'm going to overlay the second run on top of it, and let's see what my lines look like. Well, they look pretty neck and neck. It also looks like it should make you throw up. Well, let's split them up here, take a look side by side. Bottom left is going to be the first run, top right is going to be the second one. So let's take another look, slow down. I'm going to break up the video every now and then so we can see which one leads. Got a bit of a squirrely landing on the old run, which looks like it slows me down quite a bit. And here we can really see just how much speed I lost on that landing. Okay, one more thing. Let's see how I'm breaking through this turn. And I'll mark my breaking by a little red marker on the screen. Okay, so it looks like I'm actually breaking a little bit more during the faster run. Now that could just be because I feel like I'm going in a little too hot on that turn, but I don't know. It's also hard to tell how hard I'm actually breaking, so there's that. Well, what are some takeaways I have after making this video? First, I thought I just need to learn how to boost better and maybe take turns a little better. But after thinking about it some time, I think that hip jump I'm talking about really isn't much of a hip jump after all. It's more of a straight jump with a little turn at the bottom. And I think what I need to do is actually just lean back a little more and try and go for height over distance. I think what I'm doing is actually overshooting the jump slightly and landing kind of towards the bottom where it turns, given the feeling that it's actually kind of a hip jump. So I think I'm going to work on that more next time, see how that goes. What do you guys think?